hi guys welcome back to the channel one piece episode 1028 review so we pick up from our last episode where kaido just straight up took out zoro and law fortunately this gave luffy some time you know to recover and stand back up right we get our first dialogue luffy says to kaido that we love the samurai and we will never join you dude and i'm gonna kick your ass at any cost right then Kaido replies back and he says to me, you'll kick my ass. Give it a try. Then we get this um, sinister shot okay, of Kaido with all this purple lightning around him. Right? Then the shot goes out and we can see Onigashima and there's Big Mom, you know, looking up. Right? Pissed off as hell. Then she starts to create um, a new home. Right? We actually get to see her use her powers right she essentially uses part of her her soul right to create new homies and now it actually makes sense why big mom you know continuously as uh continuously you uh, takes the souls of the people she essentially fights right is to replenish that soul right if you think about just think about all the the objects in whole cake island that are alive you know the buildings um the, the 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 kettle the tea all these things that are alive she had to actually use some of her soul to create those things so meaning man big mom has actually you know killed a lot of people right then we get a shot of kid and killer dude for the first time i see that kid is actually worried okay he says to 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 killer dude let's retreat for now <laughs> okay <laughs> because yeah big mom is about to to to, to tear shit down right and then off the bat, Big Mom creates the homie and dude goes straight for killer and kid and he gets them, right? And I will say with that kind of attack, man, you, you've got to ask yourself how strong is Onigashima because, you know, the amount of attacks that have been happening on that roof and that island is still standing. It's still intact, right? Um, and then we get a cut to our little funny scene, okay? We get to see... Obviously, the strongest character in the entire enemy got Usopp, okay? He's with Nami and they're running away from page one, right? Um, and they managed to, 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 to shake page one off by running him through a straight wall. Um, Tama and that, uh, that lion thing they had on. Um, nothing much. I mean, you know, if you wanna, if you think about it, page one, something like running through a wooden wall shouldn't really take him out. Okay, he's a Zoet right but just a little comedic scene and then we get a, uh, a cut back to um K kid and killer raising up from you know the ashes okay um then we get to hear that terrifying walk okay we get to hear that terrifying walk and it's big mom dude i mean big mom is so terrifying and this is how they're supposed to display it okay i i just hate it when they you know use big mom as a bumbling fool that's a that's a big dog okay that's like a terrifying woman dude think back to whole cake island big mom was terrifying okay then we get to see this this shot of her eyes and she just straight up says kid i'm gonna kill you dude okay but fortunately kid and killer are on another floor and it looks like she's on a lower floor right the boys run straight into the building obviously trying to to cover you know uh, cover some distance make the distance wider we even have this dialogue where killer i mean kid says to killer dude we cannot let big mom and kaido you know get back together because it's a problem right so as they're running into the building oh man this coward hawkins man he tries to sneak attack um kid fortunately he sees it he dodges it and then killer says to kid dude i'm gonna stay here I'm going to take this guy. You go ahead and go deal with Big Mom, right? Then Hawkins says to, to Kid, I mean to Killer, thank God, you know, thank you. Thank goodness you guys split up because I couldn't take the both of you. Then, 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 nigga, why did you even engage them? Why couldn't you have just ran to Big Mom or said, Big Mom, they're here? Because you know you can't take them. You, you, uh, I can't wait for this dude to essentially get what he deserves, okay? Then now uh, Kid goes away. Then they those two stay there. Then we get a cut back to, to the rooftop. We've got Luffy with Kaido. 
and then we get a repeat of the earlier dialogue okay and this is the bad rap that one piece gets why are you guys repeating dialogue guys you know they uh, filler 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 every time okay we get i mean is that repeat the dialogue where luffy essentially says that i'm gonna kick your ass etc etc and then we get a flashback of luffy learning how to re to use rio again that's filler guys not necessary we've seen this okay this could have been communicated in a shorter format right obviously they need to cover the the episode time but nonetheless we get into the good stuff okay um luffy says to Cairo, oh earlier when you attacked me you infused your attack with conqueror's haki that's how that's why that's why your attacks have essentially been so brutal right then dude Cairo smiles we get this shot of Cairo smile that he smiles and he says to him how will that help you how will that help you right and then we get to see this you know um we've got Cairo in this black and then this red background right and this lightning and Kaido straight up goes for an attack at Luffy but my boy Luffy goes super saiyan we get to see Luffy glow use that Ro that Rio dude and he blocks that attack with his foot he blocks up straight Kaido with his foot and then we get to see them going back and forth you know all this lighting dude I mean that scene just looks so beautiful right and we get to actually see it from Lost perspective. He's watching the two of them go head to head. I mean, that that's just our reaction as the viewers of that episode. That, that's the scene, dude, that made the episode for me, right? And then Luffy manages to get in one punch, hits Kaido in the gut. My boy Kaido spits some blood. And then Luffy goes in for the second attack, straight up hits him with an uppercut. And guess what? Oh, man, the original you know theme song starts playing i'm like oh shit they got it <laughs> they got it you know and then we get to see um um essentially kaido you know he's just relishing in that punch and he's like is this really happening is this really happening yeah yeah bitch <clears throat> okay so yeah, yeah 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 he's got you he's got you okay um and then we cut back to law and law says he didn't even touch him he didn't even touch him. Yeah, dude, that's Conqueror Zaki. You know, uh, matches up with the earlier scenes where we've seen um, Odin fight off with Whitebeard, you know, where their swords weren't even touching, right? And then after Cairo falls to the ground, he split with his club. Luffy says to Law and Zoro, guys, thank you, okay? Thank you for, 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 for helping me out. You can now go downstairs. I got this. I got this. Tell everybody. I'm going to defeat him with, you know, with everything it takes. <clears throat> but yeah, overall, solid episode. Um, obviously, with One Piece, you know, the episodes are always bipolar. The, the fillers, the fillers always, you know, turn us off. But, you know, at the ending of every episode, that's where they get us to come back and return. But yeah, that's it for the review, guys. Please leave a comment. Um, subscribe to the channel. And leave a like on the video. Check you guys next time.